Gail and welcome back to Gail's Low Carb Recipe Ideas, my YouTube channel. And then when you're looking for my recipes, go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com and you'll find all my recipes there and I've got quite a few of them. Anyway, today we're going to make a low carb spaghetti squash pizza casserole. Now I'm using the actual spaghetti squash itself as the, the dish and we're going to add all the ingredients inside to have great flavor of pizza and it's delicious. And then one thing, I'm only using one whole um, spaghetti squash, I've cut it in half, and I thought that my husband and I could probably eat um, the whole half each, but we couldn't. There was just so much in there, so it ended up being four servings. So that's how I calculated all my stuff. So anyway, let's get started and I will show you how to make this low carb spaghetti squash pizza casserole. It's delicious. So the hardest part was cutting this sucker in half, which I'm sure you've done it many a times and it is difficult. But I got it cut in half and then I scraped everything out with a spoon. So I'm going to sprinkle on some of my Herbamere. You can use salt and pepper if you don't have Herbamere, but I'm going to sprinkle this inside and the edges and I have it on my Teflon um, tray because I'm going to cook it in the barbecue and then I've got my little sprayer with olive oil in it sorry avocado oil and I am just going to spray it and now we're going to take it out and put it in the barbecue this sprayer is kind of cool it's, it's a pump so you just pump it and then you can spray more. Nice. Okay, my barbecue is a little hot. I like keeping it at 500. I think it's at 600. I turned it down a little. We'll, when we get out there, we'll see what it's doing. Now I've got my temperature about 550. I like it around 500, so I can turn it down a little bit. And we're going to keep it up because we've got the oil in it. It should bake nice in the barbecue. And that should probably take about 35 minutes. I have a cup of spaghetti sauce, approximately 225 grams. Now the spaghetti sauce that I got, it's a no-name brand, it's Selection. And when you look at the back, it's a quarter of a cup and a quarter of a cup is four grams and one fiber, so three grams. So it's, it's quite reasonable. So you can um, look around and just try and find the lowest that you possibly can. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add in some of our goodies into the sauce. Now I have a red pepper, you can use green peppers. And what I have is 3 quarter cups or 130 grams of red pepper. Now my husband doesn't like red pepper so what I did was I cut it in half and I'm just putting my peppers in there but you put the whole thing in because I'm sure your husband enjoys peppers in their food and we're not fussy on green peppers so that's why I use the red peppers now the next thing we're going to add in is our mushrooms and that's uh, one and a quarter cup which is about 92 grams of sliced mushrooms so we're going to throw them in oh I've got the timer on for my spaghetti squash. So we'll stir this around, get it cooking, because I like to have it cooked up a little bit. And I'll go out and check the barbecue. So I'm just cooking them so that they're tender. Even if they're raw, they're still delicious. I like the little bit of crunch in my peppers. Now I've cooked up some sausage. Um, chicken sausage is what I cooked up. And we're going to use approximately three quarter cups or 100 grams of chicken sausage. So I've cooked them, pre cooked them, and I cut them into quarters. And I'm going to throw them in there. And then also my pepperoni. I have Pillar's pepperoni, and I have about 18 slices, so I'm going to put nine slices in each one. And I'm going to throw it in to my frying pan as well because. I we're going to stir this up and then we're going to go out to the barbecue. I have to um, make my spaghetti squash stringy and then we're going to add all the ingredients. 
with our cheese and our black olives, but I'm only putting black olives on one side because my husband doesn't like them as well. But that's okay because I love them and I'm sure a lot of you guys do too. And this is just the basics. You can do whatever you want with this recipe. So it took approximately 45 minutes to um, cook my spaghetti squash. There's quite a bit of heat coming out of here. So what I'm doing now is just taking my fork and I am just, see how it's gone all stringy? I already did the other one because I didn't want to take too much time with the video. Just so you get the gist of it, that's the important part. So now, we get this all shredded here. It's a little warm. It's just so much nicer not to turn the oven on when it's, when it's um, so hot out. I got the air on. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spoon in half of my mixture. Now, I might not be exact with my... Um, my uh, pepperonis, but there should be nine in each one. Now just to make it a little quicker, um, I shut off the video and then I'll, what I did was I mixed it in with the spaghetti. It's quite warm actually. It might have been easier to take it off the burner and then do it and then put it back on. So I'm going to get the rest in here. You can always mix it up well once you've got it in the house or if you're eating outside. I like black olives on mine. So we're going to add black olives as well. I think I was being more generous with one than compared to the other. So, I'm going to put black olives on, on mine, but the whole amount of black olives we're going to do is 60 grams, which is about four tablespoons, and I just have enough to put on mine. So I'm just going to sprinkle them on here. And then we're going to add in our mozzarella cheese, which is a half a cup, which is about 50 grams. And I'm going to split it between the two. You can always add more, but you're, you're getting your calorie count up more. Um, your carb count still is really good, but since I've lost my weight, I do keep track of my calories because I really found a lot of the low carb... Ouch. A lot of the low carb is very high in calories and I think sometimes we overeat and we need to not eat as much. I've been able to maintain which makes me very very happy. So I'm just going to put the lid back down and let these melt. You can also do this in the oven. So that took about 10 minutes to melt. Now we're ready to serve. So here is my spaghetti squash pizza. It's really worth the little bit of work that you have to do to make it. It's very, very tasty. Hot too. Mm-hmm. Delicious. You're really gonna enjoy this. And you got your bowl already. You don't even need the plate other than it's it's a little warm. Fantastic, really good. So if you want to try this recipe, go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com. Try this one and try some of my others. You take care and I'll see you soon. Bye now.